You know we Indians have been cleaning our asses the right way all along. Be forewarned because this video will be a little crappy. Not bad crappy, but literally crappy because we're going to talk about crap and how we clean up after ourselves after taking one. I feel like this video might get flagged. But hold on, this is important. We're back with another episode of Sustainably Yours and today we'll talk about how unsustainable using regular toilet paper is. Remember how the pehla lockdown hua tha everyone was hoarding things and all the retail store shelves were empty especially those containing toilet papers that was probably our beloved jet spray ka worldwide claim to fame because all the brown people all over the world started posting about the dark horses that sprays bidets and even lotas in times like these are to us running out of toilet paper sounds like a very alien problem not even a first world problem because If India miraculously turned into a first world country overnight, we would still choose washing over wiping. This is where the cultural differences come in. A lot of people abroad wonder what we used to dry ourselves after washing. Traditionally and historically in India, people would wake up, take a shit, and then immediately afterwards take a bath. And this was a routine that everyone was expected to follow. So the question of wiping didn't really come into the picture. I'm sure if you live with your family or have elders at home, and if you dare not to follow the sequence of activities in the morning. They'll call you names like sewer and basically shame you into succumbing to this nationwide morning routine. But now that we're slowly moving out of our homes, some Indians have moved abroad and adopted the Western way. Some of us, even in our home territory, including me, have become pretty dependent on toilet paper because, first of all, showering early in the morning is the stupidest idea ever. And second of all, we've discovered that the best combination is washing and then wiping. These two arch enemies can actually coexist and create something beautiful. So let's talk about the environmental impact of using toilet paper. We use 22 billion kilometers of toilet paper globally every year. That's almost 50,000 times the distance around our planet. Almost 800 million trees are cut down. More than 1,000 million tons of water is used besides millions of tons of oil annually to make these just this year in very two months we've cut down almost 4 million hectares of forests for toilet papers plus it takes 35 gallons of water to make one toilet paper roll so the amount of water it takes to make like three pieces of toilet paper that you would use once can be used to wash your ass for a whole week But I'm not asking you to stop using toilet paper because I myself can't. But what you can do is switch to other more sustainable options, such as toilet paper is made of recycled paper, as they don't require any trees to be cut down, and use half the water usage and a third of the energy. Here are some other options: reusable toilet paper cloths, which you can use to wipe yourself post washing. Plus, these are a lot more softer on your bum. Bamboo toilet paper. These are derived entirely from bamboos, the use of which doesn't cause deforestation and is much more sustainable than toilet paper made from cutting down forests. Paper made from post-consumer recycled pulp, which can be composted after use. Now let's finally end this feud between washing and wiping, and join hands to adopt more sustainable ways of living. Not if you just cleaned your ass, though.